So today, I'm with Patum Tani for Patum Style. And I'm just interrupted very slightly because here is Lucas. Good to see you, man. Take two. Today, I am with Patum Tani Speedway. You can see around me. And I am here for Patum Style 7. This is a big car show here at this time of year beginning of March every year well seven years now in fact as a seventh edition and then I'll just stop really quickly because that's I've been doing YouTube for two or three years if you want to see Patum style 6 and Patum style 5 drop into the description and I'll put a link in there so if you watch this video and you want to see more of this style and this vibe I'll drop a link in below anyway this show is unique for two reasons one all the crazy stuff, the most modified, the most outrageous cars in Thailand you will see at this show. Although mainly trucks, it's more truck focused than car. But all the crazy far out stuff. And just to emphasize my point, look at that Ranger. And then the second point is girls. You'll see more girls at this car show. So today i'm going to walk around i'm going to show you some of the cars some of the crazy builds some of the insane stuff here so let's crack into this i am not going to mess with this lady in fact i'm going to get right out of here and just make sure look at this classic street racing toyota pickup what can you say about that i like this alloy plate here in the grill with all sorts of things etched into it and then this lip spoiler, there is a lot going on here. We've got carbon fiber trims here. We've got a carbon fiber style bonnet. Man, look at this. All the gauges, we've got two alloy seats in there. We've got an alloy drag wig. We've got two big bottles in the back. And then when we get right to the tail of this, we got the Hulk. That is pure old school. Thai street racing style. MG racing, that is something you don't see too often yet. Look at that intake, this is a street truck. This is a midnight racer. It's not just cars either. This Yamaha doesn't come much past my knees. This is a low down street drag racing bike. One of the most iconic racing liveries is that yellow and blue of Spoon. No surprise I've been here two minutes and I've seen my first Spoon livery car. The first truck I see, the first engine bay, we've got the painted bonnet on the side with the hole. And then look in there at that green and that workmanship. That is absolutely beautiful. This is a street truck. And look at his intake coming out. No headlights on the left hand side for this guy. This Triton with a color coordinated nitrous bottle in the back. Treasures of Aztec decal in there or painted on, I should say. It's got a Perspex rear and a forged carbon shell to it. If you've ever been in Bangkok, you'll recognize the yellow and green and the pink of the taxis. But you don't usually see them with a carbon bonnet, bride bucket seats. These are a little bit different. These are racing taxis. And here we have an Evo racing taxi. And the wide body on the back there is absolutely amazing. These are racing taxis. This is something only in Thailand. This one is absolutely immaculate, carbon bonnet. i just show you around the wheels. Man, on a taxi to find something like that, epic. Absolutely amazing, I love these racing taxis. I just gotta show you the rear wheels on this. What is going on here? You know what, I wanna get in a taxi with wheels like this, I really do. If I see a taxi like that, I'm gonna stick my arm straight out. So we have a Man United supporter here and we have a serious wing on the back here and these box arches man these are absolutely epic <laughs> sitting on raised wheels this is lovely and these are one off definitely recently in my videos i've been emphasizing how big and how straight air intakes are on drag cars this emphasizes my point how big they are he has stuck a football in his air intake you're also going to see a lot of minivans tonight and this group here tell me they have 30 vans coming and just look at this one it is down on air i can hardly get my finger underneath it and then if we look here this is running on 20 inch rays massive six pop brembo calipers cross drilled vented discs and bells i mean just look at that for the modification the pattern in the door mirror the pattern in the bonnet absolutely down that is epic and i can see a row of speakers in the front here it's going to make a bit of noise tonight 
And then if we look next door, look at the cooler in that van. A forged carbon bonnet on it as well. And we're running on rays and endless brake calipers and discs. Absolutely epic. And that's just two of them. Another 28 to come. I need to show you these two bikes because they're in Eminem's livery with Mario in there. And we've actually got two here. We've got another one next door. And they're on Eminem's mats. That is absolutely mega. This is like Kanjo street bike racing style. I've seen these two Civics a few times recently. I absolutely love this Eminem's livery. And this guy here with the no good racing going on, absolutely cool. But this one is completely new to me. A Jazz with Cartoon Network wacky racing on it. Whole livery done like that. Really cool. I like that. It's got the big drag wing on the back. These boys are doing the whole Kanjo vibe. Everything tonight is going to have a big turbo. It's going to have a custom cam cover painted or wrapped up. And it's going to have custom coolers and piping built specially for the car. This D-Max is absolutely unbelievable. He's taken the whole front end off and he's mounted two Greddy turbos there. All this custom pipe work and look at the exhaust axes, the two of them go into one and they come out here. Billet everything on the engine. Absolutely amazing build that. This is taking weight saving to the extreme edge. We've got a Colorado chassis here. The GM engine all built up and all we have is a custom alloy fuel tank sitting there. This is probably the craziest truck build in Thailand. I mean, look at these wheels. They're not even in the arch. Just when you sing all those turbos, all those bought out engines, who's going to have the most power? Then it bump into this ECU shops dragster. And we have the power stakes nailed. And in fact, just in case, anyone doesn't get it they've put on big here 2064 horsepower from a 2jz epic it's only quarter to six i'm going to stick my neck out already i don't think we're going to see bigger turbos than these two garrets here they are absolutely huge and you can see everything is billet on the engine absolutely amazing I look at this custom pipe work and tank here is this a classic daihatsu tuk tuk Let's look at the front end of it. And you've got quite a bit of paint coming off here and filler. And then we look at the back end. Maybe this is a classic American pickup. That is absolutely crazy. He's actually put Daihatsu etched into it. It's got a Japanese plate on it. What has he got going on with those exhausts? Looks amazing. It's jacked down on there. He's got carbon fiber trims all around it. Carbon fiber wing door three quarter. Three nitrous bottles. He's got his cooler in there. He's got his air suspension stuff in there. Man, that is just quite an amazing build. I don't know what to say sometimes, to be honest. You just kind of look at these things and you let them do the talking. Here's two friends I've actually made in the last week. Lucas, he's got an A31 Cephro modded up like anything. And Dan is over from Canada and he's got an S2000, so I'm jealous. These guys, TTN Hypersport, and just for good measure, we've got it in the wheel here as well. These guys build the biggest trucks in Thailand. And I actually went to visit their garage about a year ago. So if you want to catch up a bit more about this garage and what they do, I'll drop a link to my video in the description and you can see they build these F-150 front ends onto Raptors. Absolutely amazing. Now it has become really popular to run your pickup on the street, drag style with the front end lifted up and the back end down, kind of like reverse aero almost. But it's become really popular now to set your suspension up like that. This pickup is a pucker racer. You can see it races in Thailand Super Series. It's actually had two P3s at Bang Sen. It's had a P5 at Buri Ram and a P4 in Super Turbo. This is what Patum style is all about. Only in Thailand do you get a big row of refrigerated vans at a car show, all with carbon bonnets. And look at that alloy air intake on a refrigerated van. And then this one here, you can see the bonnet art, the turbo, the workmanship in there. Absolutely crazy carbon bonnet again more carbon bonnets and I'm just going to stop here because this refrigerated van 
has got six pop Brembo's Lenso wheels. These guys take again their food to the customer quickly, really seriously. And then we've got kids racing on mini bike. Unbelievable, she is going to be a racing driver when she grows up. See her revving the throttle, heating up the tyres. Absolutely epic. We have a girl here posing away, but then look at all the photographers and the flashlights that are going on. I am not going to get anywhere near this with my iPhone. I'm going to walk around the back and see if we can photobomb this a little bit. That is just about what I can get away with on YouTube. Any higher and how to get banned. This is really nice, this is racing livery. I haven't seen this car before at all, and I kind of like the way he's put the words on the tire wall here. He's got a skirt on here. Inside is pretty stripped out, a couple of bucket seats. It's got some aero going on here. A lot of aero here, Brembo's on it. Carbon wings. Man, that's quite rare. We call them Carineries in Europe. Not quite sure what they call them here. Tom's badging on it. This guy is packing his nitrous bottle in the engine bay, which is actually fairly unusual to see. You actually see here, he's got two, he's got three more bottles in the back of the car. Air suspension in the deck. And man, I like the fitment of those wheels. Look at this Raptor and the wheels and the dish in the wheels, the pattern, the modification. And this vertical exhaust pipe here and then look he's mounted a kawasaki classic race bike on the back he's got all the light show going underneath that bike is absolutely beautifully done man people turn up to car shows in thailand in absolute style i am really not sure if that is an air intake or a roll of carpet i'm just going to show you all the crazy bonnet art these guys they tip up their bonnet and they've done our work on it. We'll just go right down this row, all from the same group. They call themselves Bacon. And you can see everyone has got a different style. We're missing one or two, of course. We've got more here. The whole group going down here has got individual bonnets. And then if I hit the other side, we've got Hello Kitty. And we've got a tiger that looks pretty menacing. It's absolutely amazing. And I love that, the way they lift them all up. And they have all that bonnet art. And then look at this truck. His whole deck has been painted out. And he hasn't forgotten the nitrous bottles. This is the Rotsong Tau. You don't get when you're standing at the side of the road in the rain, waiting for one to come along. You can see it's been completely done in perspex on the frame and it's got an astro turf floor in it and the kids hanging in the back i'll just show you around the back as well it's completely air conditioned the unit's there and you can see the big pipe here that is absolutely amazing and that is the rot song tower that never turns off when you wanted to <laughs> Hi, my name is Mod Mummy. You can follow Mod Mummy Facebook IG. Ah, love, love. I actually didn't notice the last couple of times I saw this M&M's Kanjo Style EG, but it's got a NASCAR racing sticker on it. A lot of girls at a car show in Thailand means a lot of photographers, and this show, the photographers turn up absolutely tooled up you look at the softbox here i feel with my iphone 14 that i have turned up with a pea shooter to a gunfight another modification you're going to see in thailand on a car show like this is this what is really popular here is people decorate their car or in this case their pickup and you can see unite racing team you can see this classic Thai style and then they will turn up with a matching bike so they're all coordinated they'll bring the car and they'll bring their bike and they'll bring the J flag all matching up all coordinated 
At this event also, the drag is open to everyone. So basically you queue up and you can drag down here. It's kind of a show for Pride here. It's not time, but the Evo Taxi I showed you at the beginning of my video is lining it up to go down the strip. And he's going up against this metallic purple TT. Couldn't get more contrast than that. There are so many minivans here, all different styles. We've got carbon monster shop bonnets, and look at this full carbon here, the full front end, a cooler, and we're attracting the van fans. This is an ambulance, and I'm just going to show you this. It's got massive six pot Brembo calipers, cross drilled and vented discs and brakes, and RPO3 wheels on it and it is riding low. That is absolutely mental, and I am getting photobombed completely here by the guys. And photobombed by a Polish guy as well. It is absolutely crazy. Now we've got a load of Fiestas here, but on the other side, I'm gonna have to walk backwards because the camera's tilting the wrong way. We've got vans all the way down. It is absolutely absolutely crazy and look at this three lit up Michelin men sitting on the van oh, that's cool this guy's van that is cool I like that and we got more vans more vans endless brakes racing wheels and look at this pattern on the bonnet and the quarter here it's like so neat detailing I absolutely love that then we got one here with forged carbon and we're back to the one I showed you before. Man, it's just completely crazy what they do with vans. And in fact, I'm just going to go back to the Michelin Man one because I didn't quite get it all. The whole windscreen is covered in stickers. He's obviously got his Michelin men down there. And then you've got the speakers lit up and three different colors going in there. Green, blue and purple. Man, deep spoiler. This guy's car. Man, that is a way to ride. That is a way to ride to school. In fact, got van service. Van service on the t-shirt. It's epic. This guy's gonna be a car guy when he grows up, for sure. This is looking very, I was always gonna say it's looking stock. When I walk past Ford Fiestas at a car show, I don't normally stop to look. I walk past these three Fiestas and then Lucas at the end there said walk back and take another look. So I walk back and I'm just going to show you number one, number two and number three. That is not what you expect to find in a Fiesta. The problem with Patum Tani Speedway when you're using an iPhone to make video, when it goes dark, there isn't a lot of light here. But it does emphasize the fact that all these engine bays I have been showing you, when it goes dark, they're all lit up so you don't miss a single shiny chromey part. You see a lot of backfire nowadays, but not very often from a Lamborghini.
this is a D-Max. That engine bay is pretty epic. Enough reason to stop here. But look round the size. It's got scissor doors. To be honest, that guy is pretty close to how I am feeling. After being here for like about six hours walking around in the heat. So if you've been to a car show in Thailand in the last six months, you will have seen this. It's time for the backfire boys. And it's the usual suspects. This Mercedes, this EK and this EG are always in action making a lot of noise. Have you ever seen an exhaust exit glowing red and the whole turbo is glowing red? This is on the limit, in fact this is over the limit. This is in meltdown mode. seen this game for a long time until last time I went to kind of a village fair it's all set up it's full of water but there's no girls anywhere in sight this is epic this is a refrigerated fan box back you put your chill food in here but it's got a nitrous bottle on one side stay with me we got a nitrous bottle on the other side and we're not finished we got one between the front seats as well. And this is a chiller van. And that's it, I'm out of here. But this place is gonna be pumping for the next couple of hours. The drag's gonna be going all night. There's gonna be DJs, gonna be bands, gonna be loads of activities, a lot of noise and a lot of happening. So thanks for sticking through my video. I'd appreciate it if you would like, share and subscribe and if you want to see more of Patum style, if you want to gorge on more of this, I'll drop a link below for the 2022 edition and the 2023 edition so you can catch them in the description below. But that's it, I'm out of here.